Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is me trying Garu makeup. It's like this style of makeup. I don't want to try it. I put this wig in two buns. This wig video is out already, so y'all should go check that out. I'll put the link down below. Watch it. Watch me install it. This is a teamy wig, y'all. I got it for free. So I'm watching a tutorial right now. She said matte. She used a cushion. She used a cute a cushion foundation. I don't have cushion foundation. I'm just gonna go in with the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I actually got this primer as a free gift from when I bought something because I never bought this. I got it as a free gift because I have dry skin. So I usually go in with my milk makeup. You can see I barely have any left. I, I usually go in my milk makeup. So I'm just gonna my face with this because I have dry skin but she said the makeup has to be matte and like doll like so and I don't do matte I don't do matte see now I look fancy so like I said she used a cushion foundation I don't do cushion so I'm gonna be using the foundation I always use which is this NARS um I forgot what it's called. Oh, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. This one. This is a tall bottle. And I'm in the shade Manu. M A N A U S. I got um shade match that's so for it. I dot it. And usually when I do my foundation, I like to spray it right before I blend it. But since I'm following the tutorial, I'm not. Because I just feel like it makes it. I mean, this foundation already blends very well, but I'm, I just feel like it's, it it gives it more hydration, like so it looks more like skin, not like doll like. So I'm just gonna take it with this Elf foundation brush. Um, I recently started using this again, so I'm gonna just tap it. I usually use like brushes with like a big flat top, but I was like, let me use this. So she doesn't go in with concealer. See, I think I will because I'm gonna just put it on my under eyes because it, it's darker under there than anywhere else. And I'm gonna just blend it out. And I'm gonna put some on my eyelids because she has makeup on her eyelids. Okay, so now she goes in with powder. So I actually stopped using sponges in my makeup routine. I'm gonna just spray it a little bit with this Milani spray. Cause yeah. The powder I use is this Ofra light powder. I'm gonna use the sponge to set underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna use this part. This is a real technique sponge. It's set everywhere else because it's supposed to be matte. This feels so wrong. I'm saying this feels wrong for me because, like I said, I have dry skin. So, <laughs> putting all this powder on my skin, usually I just use a brush and, like, but, like, with this, you're pushing it into your skin. I look, now I look Cassie ready. This feels so wrong. Like, I do not do this in my routine. Don't let get me wrong. It looks very good. I'm like, hold on, why my face shining a little bit? But this sponge had like some eyeshadow on it a little bit. Okay, face is set. Y'all, this do not look like me. Like, this is not something I would do. Like, I don't set my whole face with powder. I set underneath my eyes, my chin right here, and my this little sometimes not even all the time my forehead like the whole face i'm gonna do that i guess so this is different i never saw nobody do this like i only saw the only people i see do like cover their brows with concealer it's like when people like making a new brow or like drag queens when they creating a new brow <laughs> 
she blended it out. So the brush I'm using right now to blend it out is the Morphe M173. I like this brush to blend out my concealer, like underneath my eyes. I didn't use it earlier, but I'm using it now. I kind of feel like I should let this dry a little bit. This is a perfect brush to um, blend out your concealer. Yeah, no, nah, that didn't do nothing for me. Her brows got more covered than mine. I'm, I think I'm gonna try it again and just let it sit this time. No, I don't think I'm gonna apply that much. I think I should brush it through. Let's see. I'm gonna just, yeah, there we go. Brush it through with an eyebrow brush. That's better than just blending it out like that. Okay, this kind of eating. Yeah. I'm like, I know I got a brush because I saw it. So she's using the eyeshadow palette with light browns. I'm gonna be using my Jerry Thurwall um, Beauty Bay palette. I love this palette so much, y'all. Jade, Jade from Little Mix like collaborated with Beauty Bay. And I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have it because I love Little Mix. I'm such a girl group fan. Like, mm -hmm. and these are the shades, like, and they're pigmented each and every one. So she is in brown, a light brown for TV. Yeah. I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm using a Morphe R44 brush. This is different for me. Oh, that's not light brown. Why is it coming off black? I've never been the best at doing eyebrows, <laughs> so if it don't look good, don't be mad. I'll start in the middle, though. One of these eyebrows is better. It's clearly this one. Their eyebrows are pretty straight. Next, I'm using this e.l.f. Eye Blending Brush. This is a real cheap one that costs like a dollar. Got tape on there because the thing fell off. So she's using a light shade and contouring and the way she contours is just right here we clearly have two different nose shapes so don't nose contour so this is also different for me because i don't do this stuff she says the nose bridge has to be slim she uses a highlighter so i don't do highlighter anymore when i did do highlighter I had this Laura Gallup. What? If y'all know, if you was a big, if you did makeup back in the day, back in the beauty guru era, y'all know this Laura Gallup holiday ain't nothing to play with. Gilded Honey. I, the only reason why I got it was because it was on sale. What? Like, I barely touched it because it cost like $30. Probably even more. Let me show y'all. What? Let me swatch it. What? So she uses her finger. Let me see exactly what she applies it. She does some on her new tip. And then she does some down. Oh, wrong finger. That's cute. I don't wear highlighter anymore, y'all. This is so weird. I want to spray my face so bad. She's using the white base color and she's applying it to the lid with her finger. I'm not used to doing this with my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna use the shade Full Moon. This is the lighter shade in here. I'm gonna just go in there with my finger. I'm just blend it out with like another finger. This reminds me of old makeup back in the day when they used to set the eye before, before they put the eyeshadow on. Like, I haven't set my eye before I did eyeshadow in like, since I first got into makeup. Like, this is crazy. It's cool looking at like different styles of makeup. Cause once I was like, once I realized not setting the eye give you more pigment, I was like, oh yeah, 
Never, never sat in that eye again. You never saw that eye get sat again. Going in them with the white base. They never do this anymore. He goes in with a little bit of pink. I'm gonna go in with this light pink shade right here. Just a little bit on the outer part. All with your finger. I'm not used to this at all. Okay, so now it's a little pink. That's cute. So now a pink shade with light pearls. I'm gonna say this one. And she goes under, like right there. I don't see nothing. I don't have a real baby pink right now, so I'm gonna just use this shade from the ColourPop. Um, your pretty palette, I mean, Sweet Talk palette is what it looks like. And we'll just go over it like that. This is like old makeup, cause like, none of the palettes I have recently has this this white shade. And it's like, in all the old palettes, they always had a white shimmery shade. Like, this is just so funny though. So she taps it in the middle of her eyelid and then she spreads it out. See? So tap it in the middle. I got on a lot. Oh, this little rag is pigmented. That's why it costs so much. And then spread it out. So she goes in with her highlighter and puts it in the, in the corner. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my Laura Geller one. In my review, I talked about how horrible this packaging is. Everything else was silver, but this is white. Cheap, dirty, get dirty so fast. Okay, so she lined her waterline. Uh -huh. I'm not doing that with a felt tip liner. So this is the MAC um, Technical Lip Technical Liner in black. So for me, I just put it like in my work in my line, and I close my eye a little so it get tight lining. Yeah. This Maybelline Master Precise All Day. Y'all look at it. So like in some instances, drugstore is better than the other brands. Cause look at hers. That don't even look right. So she draws a line down. Okay, so you're extending a line going to this. to the contour shade and we just blend in on the outside of the liner. And she's connecting the April cell. I don't have one of those so I'm gonna have to make one. Then she adds some glitter to the inner part right here. Okay, so she mainly applies the lash towards the outer side. So, like, she starts it in the middle and goes towards the outer side. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Her haven't worn lashes in a long time as well. Honestly, this is not the kind of makeup style I like. That doesn't mean, like, on me. I like it on other people, but on me, it's the best I'm going to do. So after this, she goes in with mascara. I'm gonna try Rim Beauty again. This this isn't my normal mascara. I usually go in with the Benefit one. The Magnet. Benefit Magnet. I forgot what it's called. Oh, now we're drawing fake eyelashes. REM do better. Y'all eyeliner suck. I don't care if Ariana Grande with it. It sucks. Y'all, this don't look good. And I'm really at this point where I'm, I'm done with this eyeliner. A very light blush. I'm gonna use this blush right here. Cannot see it at all. Oh, you can kind of see it on camera. 
And now it's the lips. Lip gloss. Pink color lip gloss. Her pink was light. I don't know if I should use one of these two. I'm, I think I'm going to use... Let me see. That was the Dosa Colors on repeat lip gloss. This one is Cherry Mocha by Ofra. There we go. And here is the final look. So she doesn't spray her face at all. This looks very like old, like I'm, I'm saying like old 2000s, like it's very cute. You see, I have discoloration around my mouth. I didn't cover it because she doesn't have any. Maybe I should have covered it, but I mean, I like the way this look. I just wish my wish my eyeliner was working. So please recommend the eyeliner down below because the ones I have have failed me. But so far, like overall, this is a really cute look. Oh, I forgot to say the tutorial I'm following is by Healy on YouTube. I'll link her video down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. Just like it. This is a really cute style. But I, I, me personally, I can't see myself wearing it. This is very different.